So let's take a look at adding this kind of glossy effect just in the areas that you want it. So you can see on this bull or mine tool that we've used in a previous video, um, exactly how we've got glossiness just in a certain area. And it really shows well when you move the lighting. You can see it's just on the nose, the teeth, the lips, the eyes, the ears, and the ends of the horn. So let's have a look how we do that in Nomad Sculpt. So let's start with a creature we've used for quite a few videos. So this is a Minotaur head. I used it, um, I think, two or three videos overall. But it's got a basic painting scheme on it. So, um, you know, sculpted in Nomad and then just with, with the normal paintbrush, just alphas and painting and we've got what we want. Now, there's several parts in here. So if I put on, um, let's have a, a look and put on outline. You can see we've got the horns, the head. Um, the eyes, the teeth, the gums, and I think the tongue might be part of the actual body. So we've got plenty of parts to play with, and it's one colour scheme um, and one material setting. So what do I mean by that? So basically, if you look down here, um, you've got roughness, metalness, opacity, and then there's the, there's the colour channel there. So if I want to paint... Um, and carry on painting say there's more painting to be done beforehand i'll just go to paint i will use um one of the alphas that i like for example so something like something uh, let's find something more organic than that so say it's just something like that a little bit of the veins i'll pick a color that's roughly where i want to go so we'll go a darker red on the top and I'll just start painting across the top there. So that's overriding, you know, overwriting the painting that, 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 that I've done already. But there comes a point where you want to do more than just the painting. You want to start adding in more of, um, you know, more shader type work. Now, this isn't substance designer, substance painter. It hasn't got the capability that you would see in, in that kind of higher end sort of program. But you can just paint with the material setting. So let's have a look at that. And that's what this short little video is all about. So uh, I'm just going to roll the lighting around a bit. And you can see that it's pretty much a uniform um, specularity or uniform glossiness all over it. But we just want to change um, areas around the nose, the eye, and maybe the lips. The areas that on a body you might see gloss or you might see a bit more of a glossy look. So all we do is we'll go back to a basic alpha because I don't want this to be anything other than very, very uh, basic. Bring the brush size, you know, quite, quite low. And then this is the big thing that you need to be aware of. In here, where you've got roughness, metalness, opacity and colour, you want to turn your colour off. So now you're only playing with the others. So you're only going to affect the roughness and the metalness, which obviously we don't want. I mean, what I do and don't like about Nomad, so, and you can turn this off, is, is it shows you that effect over your whole model and you don't really it is a good reminder not to do it if you if you get it you know something you don't want so we wouldn't want to do that um the opacity won't affect it at this point because there's no map um but roughness is what we want so we want to bring the roughness up to make these areas glossy but we don't want it all over the model. So we wouldn't flood fill that now because that will give us everything across the whole model. And bear in mind, looking at the outline, we're only on the head here. So what we do want to do is have that glossiness setting, no colour. Remember, we've turned the colour off, leave the opacity and metalness as they are now. And this and this roughness, I'll drop it all the way low, you know, all the way to, virtually to the bottom. Um, in fact, it looks better like that if it's not all the way to the bottom. And then what you can do is because you're now not you, you're not painting with colour, you're only painting with the other attributes. You can go in and put it wherever you want. So I'm going to put glossiness across the lips, and as I roll around, you'll see there those lips have gone glossy. Um, bring it up around the top. Don't go mad with this sort of thing. It's you know you don't want the wet look everywhere. Now a nose, if this was a dog's nose, you definitely would want it there. So as you can see, I'm going all the way around and I've got this really runny kind of, well, wet look really. It's a wet look dog nose, isn't it? So and maybe drop it down a little bit to the front like that. 
and then we'll bring a bit under the eye because quite often there's a bit of wetness in the eye and there's one or two other areas that you could try you could do a little bit inside the ear if you wanted to wherever you think on a creature you might have a little bit of a, of a, of a different kind of specularity or different glossiness if you're using a pbr terminology on a bald man for example you would do glossy on the top of the head and that's because um the top of a head can get shiny um, and what you also would want is you go gums, they're wet, so we tap on the gums and we can paint them wet now. That's actually quite a low res model there, so I'll just raise that up a little bit. So we'll go up here and we'll go multi res, subdivide it up, and then we can truly see the glossiness there. Teeth, definitely, they would want to be completely glossy if they weren't already. Um, upper gum, that would want to be glossy. Again, I think these were already done. Um, and then one that you might want to consider is just making a bit of a glossiness on certain areas of the horn. So you could just do the uh, the ends of the horns like that, so the tips are glossy. Or if you want to go you know, all the way out, then just make the whole thing glossy. But I, I think that can sometimes look a, a little bit odd. I do like this bit on horns where there's just the end of it like that. Just shows a bit of a highlight. Now let's turn that outline off so you can see it a bit better and now what we'll do with three fingers we'll roll the lighting around and look how the specular highlight moves now just in those areas so you've painted those glossy bits just in the areas that you want it's a very common technique it's what we would do in, in substance and a lot of virtually any pbr workflow or physically based rendering workflow um, and it would be done with uh, with with a, a glossiness map um, but as you can see here it, it's all on one or, or on each of the individual models and it gives you that effect and you can export that out as a map uh, later on which is if you look at my previous video where i used this creature and i exported the maps you can export that as a glossiness map if that's something that you want to do i hope you're enjoying these videos and if you are please give us a thumbs up it does help us to get in front of other people who like this kind of content and if you're enjoying it enough to give it a thumbs up then why not subscribe to the channel and anything we upload we'll let you know when it drops